Hey, make sure you guys check out tonight's channel sponsor, Gamersubs. Go to gamersubs.gg and use code Zach for 10% off. Keto friendly, zero cal, zero carbs, zero sugar. I drink it to keep myself going, to keep myself energized. Check them out. Gamersubs.gg. They just released a uh, black cherry flavor. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but the one I've been drinking lately is called Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. It's not what it sounds like. It's really good. It's actually it's actually strawberry lime. Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. And they just released a whole bunch of like uh, holiday deals today. Like if you spend so much, you get a whole bunch of things for free, like uh, free waifu uh, uh, shakers, all sorts of stuff. So go on there. Get yourself some deals. Save yourself 10% with my code Zach there. Appreciate you all. Put some good stuff in your body. We're going to start right after this. This new, this new mouse pad is just, uh, <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's everything. It's just, uh, it's, uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how it feels. I'm not sure what that music was right there but uh hey hey everyone welcome to the monday show it's the monday hype show with zach you're on zach talks deck my name is zach i'll be your cringe worthy host tonight fellow canadian you might see some changes in the atmosphere here in particular we got the hype tracks happening tonight thanks to harris heller and the gang over there at stream beats so with the hype tracks come a little bit different lighting of course, the, the lighting back here stays the same. However, hey Google, turn on the Govi Glide. Huh? 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 <laughs> I'm doing a red and white colors, candy cane colors. Got myself a Govi Glide. Yeah, and someone told me that Santa Claus may bring me another one for Christmas. So we'll see what happens. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I, I mean, I could put it above the other one, but then I'd have to tilt the camera more up, but it'd be kind of a weird angle, and it'd be weird for you, it'd be weird for me. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll cross that path when we get to it. These are the uh, these are the things we struggle with. Anyway, people. Whew. I forget how we do this. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but that's okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we dive into things, I gotta let you know that tonight's sh show is powered by StreamYard. Check them out, StreamYard.com. The link is down below. Very simple to use. Very simple to stream with them. You pick a camera, you pick a microphone, and away you go. You don't have to download, you don't have to install anything, no patches, nothing like that. It's all done through your browser. You can use Chrome, you can use Edge, you can use uh, Brave, whatever it is. We go Safari, if, if, if you're a Safari person. I mean, who's a, who uses a Safari, I guess? Um, yeah, very simple to stream with them. And way you go. You can do overlays, as you guys can see here. You can do uh, music, sound effects, all sorts of stuff. You know, like... All right, all right, all right. 
It's up to you. We appreciate them streaming, and you can actually try them out for free in 720p. And one of the coolest things about them is you can stream to multiple platforms with them. So for tonight, uh, for example, tonight we're on YouTube and Twitter, but you can go off to Facebook and LinkedIn and all sorts of things with them. Very simple to use. So check them out, StreamYard.com. Link is down below. Very happy to have them back on board here for 20, the rest of 2021 and into 2022. Crazy. Literally, it took one email and I forgot to ask for the hoodie. Oh, well. I'll ask that. Maybe they'll send me a pillow. Can I get a pillow? Anyway. <laughs> I appreciate the stream yard people. We love them. All right, people. Oh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to go through uh, what I'm taking to CES. And what I'm taking to CES this year, that's the Consumer Electronics Showcase. That's during the first week of uh, January every year in Las Vegas. I'm going to explain to you what this is in case you don't know what it is or if you just need a refresher. Uh, CES is the Consumer Electronics Showcase. And this is basically where the world's electronics anything electronics anything uh, uh consumer anything technology wise everybody converges on las vegas and it's not just the las vegas convention center for example they take over the mgm link and they take over the sand resort and they take over like every hotel and everything it's 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 such a huge international event it's not just people in north america it's everywhere in the world if the, basically the only company that doesn't have a huge presence is Apple because you know Apple I don't know what I don't mean there's a reason for it it's a marketing thing I don't know but everybody's there LG and Samsung and TCL and uh, uh, BMW Mercedes I mean you name it that's just anybody if you're involved in and if you want to showcase what you have coming up this this is the place to do it now the big thing to remember about CES is this less than 10% of what is shown there will make it to market in the next three years. So a lot of it is concept and whatnot. And there's a lot of stuff that's shown at these shows that is it's kind of like existing and people getting their name out there. And that could actually be really good because they're getting more exposure and whatnot. And so in typical fashion, you know, you could set up a booth kind of thing at different, uh, at, at the L uh, Las Vegas Convention Center or maybe so, some brands will get like a hotel room or a suite or something like that and they'll cater people and they'll, you know, they'll have a show and they'll have dinner and drinks and you know schmooze and everything it's a lot of networking and everything a lot of it is networking a lot of the value from ces is the networking and meeting people handing out those business cards and yeah business cards people still use them they're still valuable um so you know it, it's it's a good time and if you're in tech like i am there are so many categories it is ridiculous like when i have to sign up for this thing I mean, I, I thought I was, I thought, I thought I was involved in like four or five categories, but they broke down my categories into even more categories and I had to really narrow it down. And even off of that, holy cow. So always a good time this year. I'm not going in with a whole bunch of meetings planned. I've really only set up like two or three so far. And they're really just like, kind of like, okay, if I see you there, I'll see you there kind of thing. I'm really there just, just to kind of take it all in. Most of all, meet up and hang out with my creator friends that are there, that have made the effort to be there, that you can that can get down there and everything like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Have some good food, have some laughs. And in years past, I used to carry a lot with me, like a whole backpack. Ironically, tonight, I'm going to be showing you guys a backpack that is part of my CES bag right now, that literally is my bag. But I don't think I even need this size backpack. I almost need like... A fanny pack size thing. Digital Slang's watching. He's going, no, 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 Zach, don't. Anyway, yeah. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through what I have here and what uh, what's you know what I'm what I'm gonna be packing along and what I'll be taking with me. It'll be a good time. It'll be a really, really good time. All right, people. But before we do that, we're gonna do a quick camera check, and then we're gonna dive into the live chat and see who's here, and then we'll dive into the tech. This is how we do the live show. If you're watching the replay, you know you can click the uh, chapters and get yourself all around here. So, camera number one, this is the A6500. Hi. Uh, camera number two, this is the uh, iPhone. Looking down here on my new mat here, and then of course this is a lot of the stuff that we'll be going through tonight. You guys, if you saw tonight's uh, uh, you know thumbnail, you know what we're gonna be talking about. A lot of the stuff here is probably familiar to a lot of a lot of you guys. Uh, let me just click that there. There we go. 
Camera number three, this is the wide angle from Jomo. Hello. And camera number four, concern dad cam in three, two, one. I don't like you hanging out with those kids. They're bad news. Nope. <laughs> I wish I could make it so that when I switch over, it, it would like, it would say like concerned dad cam along. I'm sure there's probably a way. I probably, there's probably like a, a script or something like that you can put in there. Anyway, people, let's dive into the live chat. So you here. I saw a lot of your faces going into things. I'm going to tone down this music just a little bit. There we go. We got Gregory all How you doing, sir? We got uh, Key to Technical. How are you doing? Battery Power. Now, he's a channel member. His name is in green there. As a channel member, he's uh, supporting in additional ways. Now, people, I have actually added the third level of channel supporter on there. There are now three levels for, uh, for, the, for the Zach Pack here. Uh, there's level one, which is just, you know, supporting. And then there's level two, where we do the live streams together. And level three is Zach shoutouts. So I will link to your channel, your social media, whatever it is you choose, just one of them. So it could be your Twitter, it could be your Instagram, it could be your YouTube. In the comment, or sorry, in the uh, description area of my live streams and all my videos for as long as you're at that level. That's a new level, it's a third level, it's the highest level, it's the highest costing level. I just added that the other day. If you wanna check it out, go ahead. Click the join button up, up above there. Uh, it's, uh, uh, sorry, it's a, uh, it's pinned at the top there or down below. It says uh, zach.link slash members or click the join button. Go ahead and check that out if you want to. We appreciate our members. Love your faces, battery powered, how you doing? Andy Wong coming in from Hong Kong. Don Coven, another channel member. Tech for your needs, another channel member. Jeff Hale, Geonosis. Lots of familiar faces. Who else we got here? Clint Neely, just wanted to say hi, buddy. That's all, my friends. Thanks for everything. Hey, Clint, hope you're doing good. Hope you're seeing, staying safe, my friend. Uh, Don Coven, yes, right there. He's got the uh, channel emojis and everything like that. As a channel member, you get access to channel emojis. They can spam in the chat here, in the comment section of all my videos, and in the community tab as well. So you also get priority chat and uh, a badge that changes over time. So there you go. Peace to the stream. There you go. Let's go. CS is going to be lit. Oh, it's going to be fun, man. Oliver, dude, how you feeling, Zach? How's everything? I'm better I'm better today than anything. I haven't been nearly as chilly. Like, I was really bad this morning. My voice was, like, gone this morning. And then uh, about 9, 10 o'clock, you know, a few hours into the day, I had some Neo Citroen. It cleared up. I went for my... Um, I went for my test where they did the deep nasal swab thing. Ugh. And uh, I'll get those results in 24 to 48 hours, I was told, um, by text message. We'll see. And uh, I've I just been having a really good day. I've been really productive despite taking another day off from my regular day job, which I know they're not happy with. But I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to it tomorrow. Like, you wouldn't be able to understand me this morning. You should have heard the voicemail I left my boss. It was just terrible. I'm surprised he didn't call me back to see if I was dead. Uh, that's true. Apple's anti-creator. Never trust anyone to get paid for it. Oh, it's a little extreme there, but uh, there's probably some truth to that, right? Hello, guys. I'm glad you're streaming. It started early. Lately, I fell asleep watching Zach. Not that he's boring. Uh, thanks, Christian. Yeah, we bumped it up a half hour, man. We bumped it up a half hour. Uh, cam check. Yes, there we go. Joe McFlow coming in through here. Joe's such a huge supporter as well. Appreciate you, man. CDF man, battery powered. Oliver. Who else we got here? There we go. All right, people. Mm. First, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a sip. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put that water there. I'm gonna take a sip of my tasty beverage. Before I make another one. Mm. So yeah, that's the Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. It's actually strawberry lime. It's so good though, guys. It's so good. I think it's my next favorite. I think it's my favorite flavor after dragon fruit. Dragon fruit's always first. Always first. Yeah. All right, people. So 
taking a look down here. This right here is everything I'm taking to CES. I mean, obviously minus the, the, <laughs> the keyboard and mouse here. And my Pixel is currently plugged in because, I'm just gonna double check here, yeah, because we're currently installing the update. It is 215 megabits. And it decided to stall out of me because my phone was at 39%. So I need to leave this plugged in, but this is apparently is the update for the fingerprint sensor. This is the December uh, security patch. This is uh, the update that a lot of people got last week on older Pixel devices that some people with Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro devices got last month, some people. So I gotta leave this plugged in while we do this. So I'm gonna put this over here while we do this. And I know, and, and this and this cord plays a part in this, everything, everybody, there's, there's a reason for this cord here, so. It's not being totally distracting. All right, so in no particular order, uh, let me just put myself, let me put myself, uh, let's, let's go bottom left here. So in no particular order here, let's, let's go through what I'm taking to CES. So in years past, uh, just because I didn't know what I needed to take, because I over prepared and things like that, um, I used to take probably tons more than this and I... I never needed it. The general rule for, for packing when you travel is pack what you think you need and then remove a third of it. And you'll probably be okay. And I've, I have followed that rule for a long time and it seems to work really well for me. And that, com and that comes from like when it comes to clothing and everything. I pack everything I think I'm going to need and then I remove a third of it. Okay? And, th and, that's, and that works out well for me, especially when... You know, you can only bring so much on a plane. You can only, you know, you know, check in so much, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, I think I think probably the best way I think the probably the best way to start would probably be right here. Uh, this right here is the Andar Scout wallet. It is a very simple, thin, I guess, front pocket uh, wallet. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots. That's it. It doesn't open up or anything like that. It is it is NFC to protect all your cards, so I can carry you know my debit credit, debit credits, and I've got my license and IDs in there. I can put some cash in the top here, and away we go. This is my wallet. This is the Scout right here. You guys know they're also a channel sponsor. Link is down below. Make sure you guys take advantage of their sale right now. Use code Zach for fifteen percent off. All the links for everything I'm going to show you guys here are all going to be down in the description. So go ahead and check them out. On anything you see here tonight, the links are going to be down below. Okay. And right now you can actually get $5 rush shipping on all and our products uh, and get it in time for Christmas. I'm going to be taking this along with uh, one of their cord burritos. And that's exactly what this is. It's a it's a rolled up piece of leather with a, with a, with a rivet on there. And that's going to hold my USB-A to USB-C cable right there. So that's a nice little package right there. And that's just going to, you know, throw into my bag. Throw into my bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woo. Oh, you got the Anchor Cube recently? Uh, so this thing over here uh, with USB-C. Yeah, it's the only thing. I wish they had sent me the one with USB-C. They have one that has uh, USB-As and then one USB-C. But that's okay. We got the plugins here. But yeah, we'll, we're definitely gonna we'll we'll get to this. Although you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be packing this along, but we will talk about this for sure. Yeah, yeah, the nasal swab, dude, it sucks. Yeah, Zach, don't forget clothes. <laughs> you know what's funny, man, is uh, there's there's usually there usually there's a couple of huge parties at CES that are put on by some pretty big tech giant companies, and normally you get the invites for these back in like October mid-november we're 20 no how many days are we how many days away are we now how many official days are we away right now 20 days away 20 uh we'll say 22 days away officially from the start of ces 20 days away from when i travel in because I'm, I'm going early and i haven't heard anything from these companies and when i go to the research on them nothing so i'm like 
do I pack my vest and my nice shirt, or do I just go completely casual this year? And it seems like we're going to be going completely casual. So it is what it is. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. All right, people. Continuing through here, uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is... Yeah, let's go through let's go through some of the anchor stuff here real quick. Well, you know, let me let's just get this out of the way. So this is uh the three foot or one point five meter USB C to USB C nomad cable. And it's currently drawing a 30 watt charger from the OEM uh 30 watt uh charger here from uh from Google, but it's actually gonna be working with this anchor 45 watt, which leads me to the anchor things I'll be taking. So that includes, let me just bring my microphone over here. So I'm taking along, because I'll, I'll be taking both my iPhone and my Android. Uh, this little short USB-C to lightning cable from Anchor. It's got this little tie thing here. It's got a good feeling on it. And uh, it's got a nice, uh, I guess you want to call it silicone. I think it's a silicone. Really nice. Uh, it's got, got some really nice ends here. You guys can see the detailing here and whatnot. Okay. So that right there, and just put that here. This is uh, Anchor's ten thousand. It's called the Power Core uh, Power Core Three Ten K Wireless. Okay, so this will wirelessly charge your device, or you can go USB C out or USB A out, and this will recharge via USB C. So basically I take this and I take along the GAN charger here from Anchor, right? Along with the uh, Nomad cable here and I'm set. But of course I've got the additional, you know, the lightning cable because Apple, <laughs> Apple lightning, right? So put that over there. All right. Uh, for listening on the plane and when I'm here and there, I, again, I've, I've talked about these before. I know they're probably not the best out there and everything but i mean i have been super impressed with these i've had nothing but a good experience i can lay in bed with these at night i can fall asleep on the couch my ears do not uh, get discomfort or fatigue or anything like that anything like that these are the move audio s600 from tcl uh beautiful finish they come in black white and this gray uh very you know very simple to use just flip them open pull them out and where you go, they just instantly pair up. Got this very satisfying click. And let me see if you guys can hear it over here. Hear that click? Oh, it's, it's so nice, it's so nice. Little indicator in here. These wirelessly charge, or you can do USB Type-C. Totally, totally recommend these. And the uh, audio app for these, uh, their app for this is really good as well. Uh, it does have transparency mode, noise canceling. Uh, I can turn the noise canceling off, obviously. It's got everything. It's got touch controls, Alexa, it's got the Google, it's got everything you need. These are really, really good. It feels like home shopping network. Hey man, you knew what you're getting into. You knew what you're getting into tonight. All right. Yeah, Clint, actually I got the, uh, I got, it was interesting. I was going through my, I was going through my, my banking statements. Like every, every couple of days I like to go through my transactions to see if there's anything I don't recognize. And I'm like, what is this $114 and $45 charge from Google? So I'm going through all my receipts and everything. I'm like, what is this? Then I realized it's for the Pixel Stand. So the Pixel Stand 2 has been charged to my credit card. And sure enough, when I went back at the receipt, it said it was going to deliver between the 15th and the 19th. So, hey, I think it's on its way. They haven't sent me a shipping notification yet, but they've charged my credit card. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I never tried the original Pixel Stand. But I know it was pretty good with the integrations and everything like that. Yeah, wireless, all the things do totally. Except, you know, I think CDF, I think you can agree with this, that if you're in a pinch and you need to quickly charge, it's you still want to be able to plug in here, right? You will still want to be able to plug in here and there. Until I can be, like, confident that I can get 110% all day, which I don't know if we're ever going to hit that kind of thing. I think we're pretty darn close, though. I still need to be able to plug in here and there. Did you update your Pixel uh, 6 Pros? Mine's updating right now, bro. It's over here. In fact, let's take a look. Let's see where she's at. Okay. This is where we're at right now. 
It was it was up to this point about a half hour ago, and then it stopped because my phone was at 39%. <laughs> Can you believe that? Normally your phone needs to be plugged in when you're doing these updates, or at least like close to like 90% or more better. So now we're plugged in right now. We're charging. Um, and it's doing it's doing its thing right now. So yeah. We're doing our thing. Anyway. Put myself back down the corner here. All right. Actually, what I think what I might do is put myself in the bottom right hand corner. There we go. That's a lot better. This way we can still show off the chat here. There we go. This is probably one of the biggest updates I've ever seen for a pixel. And I know that like I know talking, for example, with like English Dan and a few others, they were saying that it took a long time. Um, whether it's because of the size or because of what's in there, I don't know. But hey, we're going to do it. I mean, I, I don't think this will even be done by the time we're done the stream. Honestly, it's been taking that long. So anyway, moving on. Uh, this is kind of part of this over here. So I will show you guys. I'll actually, yeah, I will show you guys. Yeah, we'll show you guys the DD stuff next. So huge shout out to DD. I've been bugging them for a while. I'm like, oh, guys pocket wireless looks real sexy can you send me one <laughs> and at first they're like no no i'm just kidding no they, no they were really cool it's just it's been in such high demand but this is their pocket wireless okay i already use dd microphones as it is when i'm on the go and uh and this is incredible so in here you have a wireless transmitter and a wireless uh receiver so there's your, sorry, here's your transmitter and there's your receiver. And basically this whole kit will attach to this little thing right here. So we'll attach that there. Now this right here is the Moment Pro tripod. Now, it's a little long. They do make a, they do make a shorter one. They're supposed to be sending it to me. It won't arrive till January, but that's okay. That's why I'm taking the DD tripod as well. Uh, but my phone's basically going to sit in here with the M Force magnet. Okay, you guys have seen this setup before. And then we take. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, we take the receiver. And this receiver is going to sit up in here like so. Or maybe the other way around because of the plug in. We'll have to figure it out later. Um, basically, the phone will sit in here. And then one of these yellow cords here, USB-C to USB-C, because this is the Pixel. And this other one, this is the transmitter, will uh, clip to my vest or clip my vest. I don't wear a vest. Clip to my shirt or my jacket or whatever. And this will allow wireless transmission from this into here, clean audio into my, into my phone when I'm taking video and whatnot. Um, there's an optional lavalier as well. Now, am I going to be walking around Vegas with this and everything like that? I haven't decided yet, but I mean, it's such a small enough kit uh, with a small enough bag and everything. I, I, can't, I don't see why, but I was honestly planning on using most of the stuff in the hotel room. So we'll see. But this is going to be a super nice setup here with this. So we'll open this up. Got these nice tripod legs, nice and tall there. So you guys can picture the phone will be in here. And then this will be clipped on me. Of course, I'll probably use the lavalier. So lavalier, we'll plug in here. We'll screw that on there. And where we go, and everything is really nice and high quality, beautiful. And it's all wireless, just a beautiful, beautiful setup. And this entire mobile kit is really great as well. I mean, uh, they've got their own T-bar in here in case I wanted to use, use this right here instead of uh, the moment here. So I don't have to necessarily use this thing with the magnet. I can always just put my phone in here and capture it that way. Okay. And of course they give you all the cords and everything like that. And now I have my adapters in here for my iPhone because they give a USB-C to USB-C. Uh, so this is USB-C to USB-C and then this is USB-C to um, three and a half millimeter. And of course then you need the adapter here for your iPhone, right? But everything else is in here, well packed up. Everything is well protected. I haven't even taken the plastic off this yet. So like it, it just showed up last week. 
I haven't really even had a chance to even test it. So that is going to be wonderful. That is a complete, I mean, that's everything. And, and uh, there's actually an adapter with this that I could actually use this microphone during a live stream. So I might actually try using this uh, during a live stream later on this week with you guys. So, so moving on from that and kind of keeping with the, the moment stuff here as well. Uh, because I'll be taking along my moment case here along with a couple other cases that I like using. Um, and the reason for that is because I'll be taking along a couple of my favorite moment lenses and they are their anamorphic lenses. And this little pouch here is also super nice for carrying stuff around. You can strap this around your backpack. Got some strong Velcro here. Away we go. Okay. These are their anamorphic lenses. You guys have seen these before. Here's the blue anamorphic. Okay. And, uh, you know, with all, all those Vegas lights and everything, capturing video and pictures with these anamorphic lenses is going to be awesome. Okay. Going to be awesome. And then this is their new gold anamorphic, which I haven't used a lot yet. But I'm going to tell you, folks, I took a couple photos with this at sunset. Oh, my God. The sun looked amazing with this. With this gold anamorphic. It looked really, really great. So that blue anamorphic is going to look great with the Vegas lights and everything. Then hopefully catch some sunsets or, uh, you know, sunrises with the, uh, with the gold. That's going to be a lot of fun. And that all goes in here. Real simple. Nice and snug. And we just zip her up. And that just attaches to my backpack. Right? Just like that. And that's it, everybody. That's that's what's going to be in my CES bag. I mean, that's... It's really not a lot. There's not a lot here. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys one last thing here. It's going to take up the entire screen here, but... I mean, this is the backpack I'll be taking. It is, I mean, this is their 21 liter MTW backpack from Moment. And like, I almost need something that's like half the size to carry all this because this almost seems like overkill. Um, you know, if I wanted to carry a hoodie and stuff like that with me during the day, maybe. But the thing is, I've carried around a backpack at CES and I don't know if I want to be doing all that, right? So I, I guess we'll see, right? I mean, it's. It's a great backpack. It's got all sorts of zippers and compartments and, you know, it's a great mesh thing here. It's got this opening here and there's pockets inside pockets and all sorts of great stuff. Got a great finish here. This nice olive color, right? This almost seems like it's a, uh, this almost seems like it's too much, you know? I like using that backpack on the weekend when I go out for hikes and um, you know, we're going for lunges and things like that, or going for picnics with the fam and everything like that. But, um, uh, during the day, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. So anyway, yeah, that's everything guys. That's, I mean, that's it. Um, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping things real light. So it's kind of funny. I, I told my wife, I'm like, this is everything. And she's like, oh, you need like a smaller bag. And I'm like, yeah, I need a fanny pack. I think she's getting me a fanny pack for Christmas. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so, yeah, rock a fancy pack. There he was. <laughs> you need cargo pants and a Gucci bum bag sling style. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, Josh, how you doing, buddy? Glad you're here. Yeah, the desk pad looks epic, hey? You were here last night for the unboxing. I just love this thing. I just love the way this this whole... This whole... Uh, yeah. And the funny thing is, I was looking at the, the pictures from last night. I was like... I was like, maybe I maybe I should get a custom keyboard. Because it just feels weird with this Logitech thing now. <laughs> so, I, I think I might look start looking around and maybe build my own. Who knows? A custom keyboards, man, are not cheap, let me tell you. Anyway, I'm going to go back up through the chat here to see if I didn't miss from you guys. Uh, hey, we got uh, Alt Dad Tech here. Dave Stevens, how you doing? Let's see what else I missed here. Did I miss anybody else? 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Tim Beebs fanny pack. Ha! <laughs> You know, I'm really disappointed in those Tim Beebs, okay? So, like, I ordered them, like, last week, and they're, like, Tim Bits, but they just put, like, chunks of, like, sugar on them. That's all that, That's all it is. It's, it's just, it's, it's lazy. I mean, I, you know the Beaver made a lot of money off it, right? But, holy heck, right? Anyway, that's my CES bag, everybody. Um, I'm literally, I'm really, I'm literally debating, like, do I take a smaller bag? A lot of this stuff will probably stay in my hotel room. Um, like, I'm not going to be carrying around the battery pack because I know I'm going to get all day out of the Pixel. Um, I'm not going to be carrying around the DD because I've already decided that all my video that I'm going to take uh, with my iPhone or with my, with my with my Pixel, I'm going to then voice over in my hotel room with the DD setup or like uh, like a like a you know a talking head type thing and then voice over you know, what I saw in interviews and things like that, right? So I've already decided, like, this this won't leave the hotel room. This will probably not leave the hotel room. Obviously, there's no reason to carry on cables and things like that. So there's a big possibility that I may just, I may take that bag, but I won't be carrying it around with me. I really won't be. I mean, I'll be carrying both my phones, uh, so the iPhone and my Pixel, and away we go, right? I mean, I'll, obviously, I'll have my wallet in my, in my, uh, in my pocket there and uh, maybe my earbuds with me who knows uh but i like to be aware of what's around me i'm not one of these people that can walk around with earbuds I ne i've never understood how people that could do that um yeah i guess we'll see right so of course i was told today don't 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 wear a fanny pack exactly what we don't want to be around you <laughs> if i wear a fanny pack <laughs> so yeah we'll see we'll see Get an RGB mechanical keyboard. I have an I have an old school uh, Logitech mechanical keyboard that's like ten years old in the other room. Maybe I should break that out. You would like to hear the click of cherry brown switches. Mm. If you take a bigger bag, you'll fill a small bag. Force you to make uh, make choices. Well, exactly. And and in years past, Don, like I would, uh, like I know that during CES 2020, um, I took. Uh, my DD shotgun microphone and my Rode shotgun microphone. And I only ended up using the DD. Now, why did I take both? Well, because for redundancy, right? And I'm like, like, what am I thinking, <laughs> right? Ultimately, what's happening here, right? So, um, you know, if, if things break, I, I think you just go out and kind of take care of it there. Hopefully, you can stop somewhere in Vegas and buy stuff. I'm pretty sure you can get anything in Las Vegas. So, um, you can get anything and catch anything in Las Vegas. Um, Mike knows, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be carrying a whole lot with me. I don't want to be packing a whole lot this year. And especially if there aren't a lot of really big, huge formal parties, like this one that future usually puts on, uh, again, there's been no announcement. We don't know if future's doing one, but their big thing, uh, back in 2020 was, it was a black and gold party. So you had to dr dress like black and gold or whatever bronze or whatever I, I packed a bronze dress shirt and a and a and a vest and away we went right so get a spider-man skin mm. oh you mean for the keyboard yeah that'd be cool I, I saw a few online that last night and then i saw the prices i'm like oh my god and then i saw the pricing if you broke it down yourself i'm like okay that's more reasonable but then it takes forever to get the parts and everything. So I understand why people are doing this and like flipping them, right? For people like me that are maybe impatient. So, yeah. Yeah, Spider-Man's this week, man. Uh, that's on Saturday. My son and I, we have 12 o'clock show. 12 o'clock show to go to. Yeah. Hey Ace, how you doing? Glad you're here. Another channel member, Clint Neely says, glad I'm here. Need some sleep, my friend. You're the man. Catch you soon. Clint, you have yourself a good night, man. Take care, all right? Glad you stopped on by. All right. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Boom. There we go. Hey, there we go. $5 super chat coming in from uh, Mr. Clint Neely. 
Thank you, Clint. Appreciate you, buddy. I'm also going to give you one of these. Oh, yeah. And Clint. Cucumber. I mean, what? All right, all right, all right. There we go. <laughs> Appreciate you, Clint. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you for that. Yes. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man on Saturday. And, and, and I'll say it again. I know a lot of you. This is, this is going to be a controversial. This is going to be a controversial uh, opinion. I'm not a fan of the Tom Holland uh, Spider-Man. No. No, give me Toby any day. Hmm. Or Andrew Garfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, Toby, uh, so much. I hope they make his character, like, less whiny and everything. But everything we've seen from this trailer. Uh, nobody likes me because they all think, they all they all know I'm Spider-Man. Mr. Strange, can you make it better? Shut up. Sorry, I just the impression. I just, I just, I'm so tired of it. I, I want, I want a more mature Peter Parker, one that works for the Daily Bugle or whatever it is, that, like, doesn't care about that kind of stuff anymore. That's you know, not, not so whiny and like more sure of himself. Like I've, I've, we had so many movies of this, including like the Marvel movies. Like I'm over it. I'm done. And it was cute at first and everything with all the references to older movies and everything and older pop culture. I mean, it was cute and funny at first, but now it's just, it's just annoying. Please, I really hope he grows up in this movie. I really do. I really hope things move on. <sighs> hey, 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 Josh, man, you're gonna be spoiling stuff. But yeah, if you if you're not if you've been on Twitter, yeah, uh, Josh, stop it, stop it, Josh, you gotta stop it. You gotta stop that, man. Don't do that. Some people don't know. Some people don't care to know. Stop it. I know. I know that you know. Most people here probably know. Stop it. <laughs> Go play some Fortnite, buddy, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, people. So, uh, what else is fun and exciting? Uh, tonight was the hype show. Tomorrow's the synth wave show. It's a little different theme music, different mood lighting and things like that tomorrow um wednesday is what is wednesday i, I think it's the edm show i can't remember house uh, tss, tss, show i mean it all probably sounds the same to everybody uh thursday is the chill show you guys know we start at uh 9 45 p.m eastern monday through thursday 9 45 p.m eastern monday through thursday that's 8.45 Central, 7.45 Mountain, 6.45 Pacific, Monday through Friday, here on YouTube and also going out to Twitter. If you haven't yet, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. I appreciate your faces. Everything I showed you guys tonight is linked down below. We'll take you to the website so you can pick up any of these items if you want to. Okay. And if you do pick up any of these items, let me know. Like, tag me on Twitter, tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you picked up. I'd, I'd be really interested to see what you guys picked up and what you're using it for and things like that. Everybody's got their own uh, creative avenues and everything like that. It's always fun. I'm still a little congested. And I don't want to say I'm short of breath, but I can't take as long or as deep breaths. But I'm supposed to get my... Uh, I'm supposed to get my results here from the from the nasal thing today within the next 24 to 72 hours. Oh, look at this. Look, look at this. Look. Oh, everybody check this out. Pixel 6 update. Improve the security pixel. This update has been a uh, critical bugs, blah, 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 blah. So I can restart now or restart after 2 a.m. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my notifications here, everybody. Okay, Don, I know. I, I'm going to head over to Canada Post tomorrow. I'm probably going to head over to Canada Post tomorrow. Okay? It's all good. Um, I'm going to check my notifications here real quick. And then... And then I think we're going to do the reset here together, everybody. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's clear that, clear that. All right, let me show you guys here the screen again. All right, so 
that security update is finally downloaded. We're still plugged in. We're going to leave it plugged in. We're going to restart now. <gasps> there it goes. And yes, I made sure everything was backed up. I mean, for the most part. I guess we'll see what happens. Let's just leave that there for now. Anywho. Put myself uh, back down the corner here. All right, there we go. So yeah, that's the CES bag, guys. I mean, that's that's it. I got, and I it, it, when I went to CES in 2020, I I had a ton of meetings. I set up meetings for brands I work with, brands I haven't worked with, brands I wanted to work with. Most of the meetings I had in 2020 were with brands I wanted to work with. Like I targeted them or a couple of them actually came to me. And out of those 22 plus meetings that I had, and in, in one day alone, I had 18 meetings. But in those 22 or 23 meetings I had in those total four or five days for CES, only two of those meetings actually panned out because of the pandemic and everything that happened for the most part, or at least those were the excuses I was given. But a lot of those brands just ended up ghosting me or just like disappearing. It was like super frustrating. And we're not talking about like nothing brands. Like if I mentioned some of the names here, you'd be like, what? Yeah. Um, like I'm not going to mention any names, but if any creator wants to know the names, you know, hit me up and, you know, depending on our relationship, I'll, I'll disclose or not. Um, so I've decided this time that I'm only going to meet with and, and make scheduled meetings with brands I have worked with extensively over the last year or more. So for example, Anchor, Nomad, TCL, um, you know, Google, things like that, right? I know, for example, Nomad is not going to have a booth this year, unlike years past. So, um, you know, the, I know that uh, one of the ownership, one, a part of the ownership and their marketing team is going to actually be in town to kind of hang out in here and there. So we might get together for lunch or breakfast or something like that. We'll see. All right, people, let's see here. All right. We're done here. So I'm going to actually unlock this here off screen. And we'll see where we're at. Okay. I'm just going to go down to system. All right. System update again. And December 5th. So let's do another check. Okay, so we're updated now. How is our fingerprint sensor doing? Feels roughly the same. Feels roughly the same. Yeah, there's a bunch of updates here now. Yeah. Fingerprint feels, okay, I guess we can unplug this now. Fingerprint feels roughly the same. It does seem a little bit quicker. Could be just a placebo effect. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, BMAC, you've been trying to update yours all... Dude, I had to plug mine in, man. I had to plug mine in, and, and now finally... I just had to leave it plugged in, dude. BMAC. BMAC's also another channel member. Glad you've been here, buddy. Uh, BMAC's actually been a channel member for, like, over a year now. I think. BMAC, thanks for being here, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, is Pataki going to be there? I don't think so, CDF. I, I don't. Last I heard, they were not. But I guess we'll find out, man. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, BMAC, you'll have to plug it in, bro. Yeah, Glad you're here, buddy. I got to get you on the show, man. Now that I'm doing this regular thing now. I did a whole month of November and... Yeah, it seems, it seems to be, I mean, yes, the fingerprint is obviously slower than, you know, than what we're used to from like Sammy or something like that. But, and is it annoying? Yes. Okay, so that took a while. But again, I didn't have my finger, that scan right there, I had my finger over here rather than here. So right there. Okay, see how that took a while? 
But then other ones have been like right away, right guys? Yeah, that's optical. Shannon Morse had a really good uh, example or explaining why, you know, optical versus the ultrasonic, everything like that. You guys check out her video. Um, it seems better. I, I can't tell. I mean, I'm not saying it didn't bother. It does. It does seem snappier. It does. It does seem snappier. It does seem a tad snappier. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I, I, it seems better. I guess, uh, I mean, I, I guess if you have a Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, you have to kind of be the judge of it and let me know. Uh, I'll definitely be recording a video tonight on this tank, though. <laughs> so I'll be using some of that footage there and uh, incorporating it into uh, into my video, which I'll release tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Uh, just charging, dude. Just plug it into a charger. Like I had mine plugged into the 30 watt here. Any any charger, any wall block, and then USB C to USB C. Any any wall block, dude. Boarding. Snowboarding, I'm assuming. I don't know why I always picture BMAC as like a surfer, but he lives like in the middle of like snow country. Same as me kind of thing. That's just weird. Uh, anyway, people, listen. Oh, what's a wired charger? You could put it on a wireless charger, I guess, but I mean, see what happens, right? Um, I never, I've never tried doing an update with a wireless charger. I'm not sure if that still kicks in while it's... I don't know. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, I just know that my my phone was at forty five percent earlier, BMAC, and uh, it stopped doing the update uh, because it said it needed to be plugged in or or charging, or it uh, yeah it said that it needed to be plugged in charging, um, or it said no it said, it said it said battery low must be charging to continue update. It was at forty five percent, forty four or forty five percent. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, people. So, like I said, the stream schedule now, Monday through Thursday, 945 Eastern. That's 845 Central, 745 Mountain, 645 Pacific. Here on YouTube and Twitter, hit the like button, hit the share button. Let people know. I'm trying to bring you guys something topical, something up to date, something that's been happening in the tech world today. Uh, I'll usually throw out the stream information, uh, you know, two or three hours before. I'll try usually around seven o'clock Eastern to get out there by that time, kind of thing. That's kind of the end of the day for my my regular day job, kind of thing. Um, if you're into Pixel, check out Zach Talks Pixel. The channel link is down below. And the last time I checked, let's take a quick refresh. Zach Talks Pixel currently sitting at 443 subscribers and just over a month. Of, uh, of life amazing stuff uh, video tomorrow morning on this update and everything uh, in case people uh, you know haven't received it yet or they don't know how just kind of a you know follow up on you know, how things may or may not have improved and uh, and yeah links for everything I showed you guys tonight are down below all the DD stuff all the anchor stuff the TCL stuff the moment stuff the Andar stuff. Big thanks to them, one of our channel sponsors. Check them out. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll catch you guys. Uh, catch you guys tomorrow, same time. All right. It's the Synthwave show. Uh, it's the uh, Synthwave show tomorrow. So it should be a it should be a fun one. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to talk about because again, it's it's topical. If you have an idea for a show, definitely hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Send me a DM or, uh, you know, tag me on Twitter or whatever it is. And uh, we'll go from there. You know, tag an article, whatever it is. And uh, we'll talk about it. We're still keeping the same outro, though. Okay? <laughs> Take care. Cheers. <laughs>